What's going on, folks? Breaking news. Well, maybe it's not breaking news, but no, you, you drive. Let me let me do this. You don't worry about the camera. Okay. We, we just try to get through this safely, y'all. Um, I'm over here recovering. Don't mind me. Uh, yeah. got, got, got extra lip gloss. What y'all think? <laughs> extra lip gloss. You know? Going food shopping. Going to Costco, Sam's Club. Just went to Kohl's. Just picked up my food from Walmart. Um, we know how much y'all love Walmart. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if y'all know, but uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, they're going to go ahead and shut down their remaining stores. And <clears throat> I'll be honest with you, it doesn't come as a tremendous surprise to me. Um, I personally don't ever think of Bed Bath & Beyond as a, as a company. And if you, if you have a company where, like... You're not even relevant in most people's lives, meaning like people don't even realize you still exist. That's a problem. Now, <clears throat> it's unfortunate because there's so many employees that are losing their jobs. Um, there's likely a lot of smaller businesses that are in the shopping centers or surrounding areas of these Bed Bath & Beyond locations that are no longer going to get what little additional foot traffic that they might have gotten to their businesses from <clears throat> customers who were shopping at Bed Bath & Beyond. So it, it sucks all around. But the simple fact of the matter is that a lot of these larger companies, a lot of these lar larger corporations, they're, they're poorly managed and they're run by, you know, highly paid CEOs and C-suite executives who... <clears throat> They're getting paid regardless. I mean, they ain't gonna get they ain't gonna get paid now once this company done shut down. But I guarantee they still got big bonuses on the way out the door. As they're shutting these stores down, filing for bankruptcy, <clears throat> I guarantee they still had money in the budget to cut out big checks to these big wigs. And it's whack, yo. It's like y'all knew your business was failing for years what were y'all doing you still sending out these lame coupon flyers in in newspapers that no one reads yeah always 20 percent 20 percent 20 percent off giving away stuff you know ain't nobody even coming in there like that is an outdated yeah. antiquated method of advertising and i think location wise as well like where they put their stores they're so hear. hidden. Um, I was just telling him location is just is key um, to promote yourself and, and make it visible. Um, where we're at, we don't barely see uh, that store. What what store are we talking about? Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah, that one. Yeah, they're they're so irrelevant. We forgot we're, who we're talking about in the middle of the conversation. Um, but yeah, so Bed Bath & Beyond, it's like, nowadays, a lot of the smarter companies, they're, they're going beyond just promoting in newspapers. Like, that's so 1999, you know? Like, early 2000, I mean, like, I don't even know anyone who reads the newspaper. So, if you're wasting marketing dollars advertising in newspapers like are you even getting a return on your investment is anyone what proof do you even have that the money you're investing into advertising in magazine cutouts newspaper cutouts that it's even bringing in new business are they are they monitoring this i mean they got to be spending tens of millions of dollars per year just on this form of advertisement and i if i'm running a bed bath and beyond or heck even a coles for that matter because i personally feel like coles could potentially be the next victim now i'm not trying to wish any bad uh luck on coles because i like coles as a company the customer service is always good stores are clean they have a good variety of stuff but 
the simple fact of the matter is that I feel like there are some stores that exist, some retail stores that exist, that have lost their place in the market. And people just don't think of them. Like, people think of Home Depot, people think of Walmart, people think of, you know, certain stores on a regular basis. But if you're a major chain like Kohl's, excuse me, if you're a major chain like Bed Bath & Beyond and you're, you're like, irrelevant in most people's um, minds and, and, and daily lives, good luck surviving. So, anyway... A lot of the smarter companies are going online and they're marketing through influencers. They're, you know, inking deals with YouTubers, um, Instagram uh, personalities. Um, they're getting on Facebook. They're, they're leveraging the more effective means of advertisement. And those are the ones that are going to survive. These are the ones that, you know, these are the ones, guys got a loud bike over here. These are the ones that are, that are actually trying to survive. And, and, and the, 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 the scary, this, what's really messed up is that there's so many people who depend on these companies for employment and you got these lame CEOs and, uh, C-suite executives, regional managers, like they're not doing anything. They're just collecting a check. They're watching these poorly run businesses continue to be driven into the ground. They're collecting their check for as long as they can. And then once the company completely sinks like a Titanic, they move on to the next business. And and and, and the cycle continues. So, you know, simple fact of the matter is this this is this is a pattern that will continue. This pattern will continue continue folks people people think of Costco people think of Target who thinks of Bed Bath & Beyond like ask yourself when's the last time you or anyone you know went to Bed Bath & Beyond and bought something you ever go to Bed Bath & Beyond's website like no one's doing this and, and this is why they're dying this is why they're pretty much dead so, drop me some comments, leave me your thoughts, let me know what you guys think about this uh, discussion here. Do you think that Bed Bath & Beyond could have done some things to save the business? If they could, what do you think that those things are? What do you think that those things should have been? I'd love to hear from you guys. Drop me a like, subscribe, I'll see you on the next one.